This is Matt Price and you're watching 117 TV. People say to be a woman in the world today means you gotta change everything about you. Well, we get so excited when we have the opportunity to introduce you to new artists and tell you about new music. This is Matt Price. He has a brand new album out. It's called Dream. It's so nice to meet you today, Matt. Yeah, it's so, so nice to meet you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, we're excited to. So I got to listen to a preview of the album, and it's so cool. It has such a pop feel to it. I didn't really know what to expect. It was brand new music sent to me. And, and tell me a little bit about the sounds and... and uh, just the album in general. I self-produced the entire thing. Yeah. So that's really cool from the perspective of I was able to kind of take the, the general song ideas and just kind of play with the sounds that I wanted. And, and um, you know, I'm a huge, like, Max Martin fan who, who does, like, Taylor Swift, and he's pretty much doing everybody now in the, in the top 40 world. So um, huge, huge fan of that. And so I think that's kind of what you hear. You hear some of those, like, cool 80s influence too. I <laughs> mean, it's, it's uh -huh. super poppy. So Matt, tell me a little bit more just about your journey with the Lord and the, and the writing process that, that was birthed out of kind of that journey. It's really interesting because as a writer, you know, you just kind of, you just kind of pummel out songs, you know, and, and you hope that they come from a place of authenticity and, and from your journey. And really when I was kind of assembling the songs for the record, I noticed this pattern, this theme, and it, it really, um, Several of the songs kind of mirror the journey that I've been on over the past couple of years, moving from Atlanta to Nashville. And, um, you know, moving here, we, we had some kind of health complications and just some odd things. So um, really, all of that can be heard in the, throughout the, the entire album. And, um, you know, I just, I just, I'm such, such a, a fan of, of, songs that come out of, of an original and heartfelt place and I'm just so thrilled that I think I got that message out through this album of, of kind of where I've been over these last few years. The title is Dream and the t tell me about that song. I, I wrote it with an amazing writer named Sue Smith. She's a legend here in town and um, I, I told her I was like I, I want it to be kind of autobiographical a little bit you know like kind of mirroring some of my story and um, and really, that's that's what that song is about, and it's about the fact that you know, I remember being three years old, and my mom's got these you know VHS tapes of me singing at the top of my lungs, you know, and that really got me thinking about you know where where do where did that come from, you know, because obviously it, it was before I was really exposed to anything in the music world. I mean, there was some. My mom's a singer; she's a great singer, but um, there it's something deeper than that. It was coming out of a place much much deeper and um, really that's that's kind of the message of dream is is that you know God puts these desires in our hearts these holy desires that are, are from him and, and from his heart for us and really the idea of, of, of dream is dreaming with him with the maker letting him into that process you know I don't know that I did that for a lot of my life I was just like well this is something I love to do it's fun but you know what? What does he have to say about that? And um, really, it's just surrendering that desire to him and, and letting him lead that process. And that—that's really kind of the the deeper meaning behind Dream. Great to catch up with you, Matt. Yeah. Be sure to check out Matt Price's new album. It's called Dream. There's never been a 